Welcome back to Just Scribble for part two of my Yoseka unboxing. If you caught part one, I shared the Twisby Eco Lilac that I had pre-ordered from Yoseka. And in this video, part two, we're gonna unbox everything else that I had added to my order that was on my wish list from Yoseka. So I'm gonna take everything out of the box and then we will open everything up and check out what I got. All right, so these are the items that I ordered from Yoseka when I placed my pre-order for my Twisby Eco because these items were on my wish list to buy from them and I decided because the pre-order was around my birthday and Mother's Day that I would treat myself to some of the items that I had been wanting. I'm actually gonna start with the notebooks first and then we'll work through these pens and then we'll work through what's wrapped in here. So I ordered three notebooks from Yoseka. I ordered a B6 half year Stalogy. Pretty much every time I place an order with Yoseka, if the half year Stalogy is in stock in a color that I want, I add one to my cart because I absolutely love the B6 half year and I have this fear that it's going to go away or that I'm going to run out and they're not going to have any at the time that I need them. So I like to have a few stashed away so that I have them when I need them. This is most likely gonna be my EDC Bujo-esque planner when when I finished my Wonderland 222 at the end of June. And so I wanted to make sure I had enough of these stashed away to use going forward. So I did get the B6 half year in the blue this time. And I just love this notebook and I love that it is thinner. I just find that I like writing in a chunkier half year more than I like writing in a chunkier full year. So I prefer using the half year notebook. And then while I was ordering that, I also ordered a half year in the A5 size in the limited edition green because I couldn't pass it up. I had been looking at this green color for a while and I just love the grass green color of it and thought it was so pretty. So I added that to my order as well. And then I ordered a Clyde notebook just because I had never tried one out or seen it and I thought I would just check it out in person. So it is the same size as the Stalogy Half Year. It is slightly thinner because it has a few less pages and it has a very tiny two millimeter grid. It lays flat when opened and it's just a nice little notebook to have to add to one of my folios or my traveler's notebooks. So I just wanted to check it out. I like that the grid is kind of light blue and very faint. I would never write this small to fit inside the two millimeter grid, but it will help for just having straight lines when writing or drawing or what have you. So I wanted to check that out. It is super flexible. It's sort of a cardstock cover and it has a faint grid on it as well. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up. So those are the notebooks that I added to my order. And then I ordered two more of the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers in black. I love my clean color dot markers. I use them all the time in my planners and I found that since I got the black ones, I'm using them a lot more, especially at work. So I decided I would add a couple of extras. Finding them in singles in black isn't always easy and so I figured I would add them while they were available and I could stash one away at work and one away at home and have extra backups. The next thing I ordered were some Stalogy pens. I recently got a Stalogy pen in one of my stationery selection sub boxes, and I really, really like these pens. So I decided that I would order some more in some different colors. And so I ordered the water-based gel ink in the 0.5 in the black and in the red. And then I ordered the low viscosity oil-based ink which is a 0.7 in red and in gray. So the pen that I have is this one, the water-based gel ink pen, and I really like it and I have it in gray. So now I have both of them in gray and both of them in red and then I have this one in black. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one in black and this one, uh, yeah, this one in gray. And I'm just gonna write with them for you guys so you guys can check it out. There is a little wax tip, like most pens. So take that off. I'm gonna do a little writing sample in my swatch book. So this is the low viscosity oil-based pen in the 0.7.
And then this one is the water-based gel ink pen in the 0.5. The water-based is much wetter when you're writing, but they dry pretty quickly. And they work really well on Tamoy River paper and also on the Stalogy paper. So that is those two pens. The 0.5 actually seems thicker because it is wetter, but I'm just gonna scribble with the water and then scribble with that and then rub my hands so you can see that in that quick time, there's barely any smudging on either of them. They dry really quickly. So I know a lot of people complain they don't have a nice pen that they can use that will work on Tamoy River paper, which is what this is, or the Stalogy, and they want something that dries quickly and doesn't smear. And these pens are it. They are awesome. So the water-based one is a gel ink ballpoint pen, and the low viscosity oil is just a ballpoint pen. It is not gel ink, which is why the gel one is wetter. Those are the writing samples of both of those. And so I have a matching set in red, I have a matching set in gray, and then I have the single black one in the water-based. And then this is the rest of my order. So I'm gonna take off the washi tape and take everything out. So these are the other items that I ordered. And this is their little customized note that they sent to me that just thanks me for my order and talks to me about some of the items that I ordered. And then these are the stickers that I got with it. So, so I'm putting these into my Bujo planner for my Happy Mail page. And then these are the other four items that I ordered. If you saw my unboxing from Paper Plus Cloth, you know that I have already acquired one of these sets of LCN print on stickers in the stripe, but this was my favorite pattern. And when I saw that Yoseka had it too, I added it to my order so I would have extra. And you will be seeing these in a future journal with me video, but they are print on stickers with little lines. And so you can cut them and use however many lines you want. You could put one line, you could put a whole row of lines. You could put these into your journal. You could put them into your planner. You could even put them on your happy planner, like inside the columns of your vertical classic happy planner. Lots of different uses for these. But the lines were my favorite. So I ordered another one of those. And then I ordered these Cameo stickers. I will put down here what the name of the colorway of this sticker is because the set that I had ordered was out of stock and so they ended up swapping it out for a different color. And so I need to go back and check my email and my conversation with them on which colorway I ended up getting just so I don't mess that up and I tell you guys correctly. But I will definitely be ordering the other colorway when it restocks. But they are just little washi disc stickers. They are quite large. Let me try to peel this off so I can show you. I'm not gonna stick them on paper because I want to save them for my journaling, but they look like that. And it comes in assorted colors. So you get a bunch of different colors. I forget how many come in here and I don't know if it says on little package. I'll put that down below. Oh, 35. There are 35 of them. I think there are 35 of them, but I'll put that down below if for some reason I am incorrect. But just for size reference, this is a roll of washi tape and this is the dot. So it is about the same size as a standard brand new roll of washi tape. So those are my Cameo stickers. Then the last two things I got were some new Sarasa pens. Let's scoot this out of the way. I got a set of their milk color pens. They are 0.5 millimeter. And then I got a set of their Deco Shine color pens as well. If you saw my last stationary selection unboxing, I actually got this copper one in that unboxing. It is gorgeous. I love it. So now I have all the different colorways of this pen set. I'm not gonna swatch all of these out on this video, but I will do a swatch and then I will post it on Instagram. And if you guys want, I can post it on the community tab, but I will do a sample of one of each. Let's do the purple and the purple. 
I also want to test these out on black paper and see how they work because they should work on black paper as well. So I want to test them on that. I'm going to take off the little wax tip on both of them. This is the Deco Shine or Deco Shine. It's probably Deco Shine, but I'm not 100%. But it has beautiful holographic foiling on the clip. So this is... And then this is the milk. If I could spell, things would go so much smoother. Do y'all ever have those days where your brain is faster than your hand? So those are ink samples of both. I really like those. They're very, very smooth and I like the colors. I thought they were a fun addition to my pen collection for using for creative journaling, expressive journaling, and in my planners. So I got sets of both of those. So like I said, I will do full swatches of both of them and put them on Instagram. And then if you guys want, I can add them to the community tab as well. But that is my unboxing part two from Yoseka Stationery. I got these Sarasa pens. I got these cameo stickers. I got another set of the print on stickers from LCN in the stripe. I got the Stalogy pens, extras of my Zig Clean color dot markers in black, and my three notebooks. And then I also got in part one my Twisby Eco Lilac. So that is the conclusion of my unboxing from Yoseka Stationery when I pre-ordered my Twisby Eco and added a few extras to my order. If you have any questions about anything that I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos, including the couple of giveaways that I have coming soon. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing and don't forget to just scribble.